Hello everybody, happy new year. We made it, 2022. Can you, th can you imagine? what opportunities God has for each of our lives today and throughout this year. So don't let your heart be troubled and don't carry anything from the past, any of the baggage, the pain, the misunderstandings, uh, misunderstandings the complications, the challenges, the contentions. Don't carry them into your future. Let's just let everything be set aside, place everything in Christ, put everything at the foot of the cross and, and, and cast all your care into Jesus. You know, I was reading this verse, uh, which always stirs my spirit when I see it. It's in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30. It says, a calm and undisturbed mind and heart are the life and the health of the body. Think of that, a calm and undisturbed mind and heart, your, your soul, your mind, your emotions, your, your intellect has to be anchored in, in, in Christ Jesus. Your heart can have peace, but you have to have your mindset aligned and in tune with the one who's called you into himself. And that's why Jesus has called us to gather. He said, my longingness, my desire for you is that you would gather into me just like a hen would gather the chicks and your whole worldview would be from in Christ. This is where you have a peace point. This is where you have a calm and undisturbed mindset. But it goes on to say, it says, envy and jealousy and wrath are like rottenness in the bones. I tell you, anytime there's deterioration in your, in your life, anytime there's depreciation in, in your world, many times it's because you're letting your mindset be filled on things that aren't from the Father, they're from the flesh. They're, they're things that stir your spirit into wrath and rage and contention. We've all been mis misunderstood. We've all done things that we shouldn't do. We've said things we shouldn't say. All, all of us understand that we've been mismanaged at times with, with circumstances and situations, but it's time we lay it down. We put everything into the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. We behold the Lamb of God and we let our mindset be filled with peace. And we let there be a calm, let there be a peace, let there be undisturbed composure in our mindset and in our heart. Friend, this is my hope for you in this new year. This is why I want you to be loved daily with me. Take time, let God love you. This is the way you're equipped to live in this world victoriously, and this is the way we can love one another and live in faith with the assignments and purposes God places in my heart. So get ready for the very best year of your life. I hope you join me on the journey again this year as we learn to let God love us completely. Don't ever forget because of Jesus, you can be assured God really does love you completely and we do too.